What is up guys, how's it going? My name is Aram Joseph. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Hope all of you are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be running through a bunch of iMacs. We're going to be doing installations, putting all of the specs in terms of like the processor, the RAM, the hard drive, the screen size, the serial number, straight into an Excel sheet. And from there, we're going to go ahead and prepare them to be sold. So, um... Yeah, just so much. I mean, if you can tell up here. Easily about 60 through here. Even over here. So today is going to be iMac day. I'm already setting one up right now. If you hear, I think in total I have around 70, 70 or so. Um, but yeah, that. Oh. But yeah, that's what's gonna be done today. I'm gonna be setting up all the iMacs. I'm gonna be cleaning them out. The hard drives have already been replaced, so there's no customer data. But since the hard drives are blank, now we're putting operating systems on them, and we're just preparing them to be sold. So that's what we're doing today. If you're interested, check it out. Stick around for the video. And write down in the comments below, what do you prefer, Apple or Mac? Not Apple or Mac, Apple or Windows, what the... Alright, see you guys there. Power mark. Time to get another one. You know, I could easily just edit out all this stuff, but I, I want to show you guys the actual process. You know, a lot of times, people, channels, when they introduce topics, when they introduce new business, like forms of business, they don't show everything. So I wanted to show you guys from A to Z what it is, even the weight, even like the, the physical aspect of doing a business like this has its own tolls. All right, I'm gonna go through the same process again. It's a new hard drive, we wipe it anyway, regardless, and we put a new operating system on it. This one's the same thing, 3.4 i7, eight gigabytes of RAM, two gigabytes of dedicated graphics, and one terabyte conventional hard drive. So, we go back to the utilities, format the drive, and we format the partition. It's kind of redundant, but I do it anyway. See, like with the, the computer before this one, I did it, and sure enough, even though it was a new hard drive, it was failing half the time, and it was taking a long time to format, which is never a good sign. See, this one, it formatted really quick. Now I'm formatting the partition itself. And so it doesn't cook, it's under 30 seconds. Okay, everything checks out fine. Now we go ahead and clone the drive. Doing a conventional installation easily takes half an hour because it, it downloads, first of all, onto the system from the internet. Then it does its installation while it's inside the operating system. And then when it restarts, it does the operating system from its own, I guess you could say, um, from its from boot. It does an, an additional installation. And the installation from boot, if it's a conventional hard drive, takes around 20 minutes. And the installation from the operating system takes around five to seven minutes. So you could give or take around 25 to 35 minutes, depending on the ability of your system, the RAM and all this stuff. Um, so I like doing a clone because firstly I have a salt state in here it makes the, the write speed even faster even though it's a conventional drive over here and I know this because before I had a conventional drive as an external and when I would install operating systems onto the internal drive it would take around 20 to 30 minutes this way with a solid state that's an external I literally get it done in five minutes, if that. I'm gonna let this run. Once it's done, we'll get another one. All right, another one done. Uh, that 
is number four. We got our bows. Hour and a half into it. Bring the other one so now there's no room. Two point seven i five, eight gigabytes of RAM, and storage is one terabyte. We do the same thing. Go to disk utilities, erase the drive, then erase the partition. Number six, another 3.4 i7, 8 gigs RAM, 2 gigabytes dedicated graphics, and 1 terabyte hard drive. We put that in the Excel sheet and we move on to the next one. Most of these are pretty much the same for this specific batch. Same thing, go to Disk Utilities, just erase the new drive for good measure. Once again, this is how I see how well the drive is working. You know, if it's able to unmount, mount, format, go through all its process relatively quickly, it means that the drive is healthy. I do the same thing for the partition. It's a little bit redundant, but nonetheless, I still do it. All right? See, quick, under 10 seconds, not even 30 seconds. All right, we'll let it install. Another one done. That was number seven. number eight I'll probably do ten today and then we'll make a part two and probably a part three because there's so many but it's already getting late right now all right 2.7 i5 8 gigabytes of RAM 512 megabytes of dedicated graphics and the one terabyte hard drive we'll do the same thing again we'll do the facilities See, another reason why I format these is because these are drives that I installed in these systems and they're formatted with a Windows system. The format type on the drive is specific for Windows operating systems. When I format it again, I format it to a guide partition, which is an Apple specific type of partition. So. Besides the health. Making sure that the drive is working properly. 
perfect. All right, another one. So we are on number eight right now. All right, number eight done. Now we shut this off, go to number nine. Today we'll be doing 10. I think that'll be a solid number. I spent at this point about two hours doing this. It's getting pretty close to nighttime. Um, kind of want to go home and eat, <laughs> so let's get two more in and then we'll end the video we'll do a part two part three and uh, we'll see what comes out of it all right number nine all right clone is done on number nine let's get the specs really quickly 3.4 i7 8 gigabytes of ram and one terabyte hard drive. Right. So let me jot that down. Shut this one down and we go for the last one, number 10. Number 10. have it. Number 10 just finished. What time is it? Oh my god. It's been almost three hours I've been doing this. 10 IMAX in three hours. That's fully like checking them, checking out the specs, putting it in an Excel sheet for the model number down to even what their condition is, the chips of glass, where they're located, you know. Um, this is another one, 3.4 i7, 8, 8 gigabytes of RAM. 2 gigabytes of dedicated graphics memory as well as one terabyte hard drive all right so that will be it for today that was it unit number 10 and there it is guys that was a video on me installing operating systems doing excel sheets um, filling up the excel sheets with the specs the ram the hard drive and all that stuff for 10 imax this is a part one I think it's gonna be three parts of this video. I hope that it interested you in that aspect of my uh, business in the sense of buying and selling, not only recycling. So I'm buying old stuff and I'm also refurbishing it. And it's something I also enjoy doing. So that's the end of this video, guys. I just got home. Should be doing part two in a couple of days. And uh, part three, if there's a part three thereafter, I don't know. Anyway, I hope this video interested you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. And, um, you know, that'll be it for now. See you guys on the next one.